So here on the coast of Cape Cod, we have for the very first time, predictable access to great white sharks. So now we're just starting to learn about the basic biology and ecology of this species. Where does it go? What does it do? Not only where does it spend its time around Cape Cod, but where does it go when it leaves here? How does it work into the natural history, the biology of this animal, you know, its movement patterns? And critically, how many are here each summer? I think if I told you there were 10 out here, you'd think one thing. And if I told you there were 1,000 out here, you'd think something else. So answering that important question about the numbers of white sharks here is also an important part of our research. You'll see things posted at the beach or you hear word of mouth where maybe there were predations or they saw sharks. So your eyes and ears are always open to information about what's going on. Also the biologists and the people tra tagging sharks are using spotter planes and also boats to tag the sharks. And so when you see the spotter planes in the boats, it sort of gives you an indication as to where the sharks might be in any given time during that day. Not to say there aren't other sharks that are roaming around that aren't being tagged or, or haven't been located. but. That's just the new reality, you sort of see who's tagging, where the, where the planes are. And then also just being aware. I mean, seeing giant pods of seals, probably not a good idea to go paddle out in the middle of those guys and, and surf. We're working to make sure that whether people are recreating on a national seashore beach or a town beach, that when they go there, they're aware of what's in the water and that um, you know, no matter if they come here speaking English or if they're from another part of the world, they'll be able to look at our purple flags and see that white shark symbol on there and know that when that flag's flying that there's a risk of a white shark in the water. Our main role now has changed in that now our focus is on educating the public and letting them know that the, the fear is real that there are sharks in the water and you have to be vigilant about you know where you are in the water you never swim alone don't swim at dusk or dawn don't swim where there are seals and there are a lot of them swim in front of the lifeguards listen to the lifeguards and always be aware that there is a, a, a danger out there and it's for real One of the things that the working group did a few years ago is they put together a shark safety brochure. So some of the quick things that you can do and be aware of when you go in the water. If there's a receiver located near your hometown, whether it be on the South Shore or off the Cape, um, if we have data off that receiver, you'll be able to track and look at the updates from that. That information will be stored on the app, uh, as well as the push notification, so if one is spotted. But then what's also great is with the app, if you're out on the water and you spot a shark, you can report it. So you can take photo evidence and you can submit it and then you know, you're kind of part of the research team and that you get to submit that to be reviewed by the science team. So far, the towns are embracing the sharks. It's a unique scenario. And people are, are learning to coexist and, they, and in many ways, they're in, you know, they love these animals as much as I do. But, you know, if there is a, you know, a situation, a fatal attack on a human being, that can all change quite dramatically. That's why I believe it's really, really important to you know, be very, very forthright with uh, the general public, with the towns, work closely with the towns. Let's get all the information we're collecting out on the table so we can all see it. We can all learn about these animals, learn to assess the risk, educate the public, and all come under the same tent when it comes to, to uh, you know, living together with white sharks. Part of the working group's goal is that making sure as a community we're all on the same page with our message. That way moving into the future as the research comes along on white sharks, um, we'll all be able to communicate to each other and know what kind of solutions are in our best interest for sharing our recreation area with animals that are in their natural habitat.